Good evening Hackology and welcome to tonight's video. Welcome to our introduction to SDR. This is going to be a really basic video where we're going to skim over some topics but I want to introduce you guys to SDR for the people that don't know what SDR is and for the other people that do know what SDR is you probably won't want to watch this video um, because it's just going to be very very basic and then in some of the future videos we're going to move on to some more advanced things using the Realtek dongle, but we shall come to that later. So, SDR, what is SDR? SDR stands for Software Defined Radio. It's basically a combination of hardware and software uh, to perform the same functions as what an older hardware radio would perform. But because we can connect it to the PC, we can demodulate signals, and we can look at the data that's been sent across the air. Um, that's a very, very basic explanation. There are many different types of SDR that you can get. Um, they range from about £10 all the way up to maybe £2,500, £3,000 for a box of magic that does lots and lots of very, very cool stuff. But for this set of episodes, we're going to be using the Realtek dongle. Signals are usually transmitted by the means of FM frequency modulation or AM amplitude modulation. Basically amplitude modulation modulates the height of the, the wave to carry the signal. Frequency modulation modulates how often the wave occurs to transmit the data. So they can both be used to transmit analog and digital signals. SDR setup. So what do you need? Well you need a PC or a laptop you need an SDR card or a dongle and you need some software so the SDR we're going to be using for the following set of videos is the Realtek dongle, they start at around 10 or 15 pounds available on eBay or AliExpress or wherever you want to go and buy them from uh, they're very cheap the uh, chipset this uses is the RTL 2832U and basically this is a digital television tuner but uh, some guys looked at it and then realized that the chip could be used for a much wider range on the spectrum they rewrote the drivers for it and then SDR well cheap access to SDR was then bought their names are I do have their names written down it's Antti Palisari and Eric Fry from Osmocom actually reverse engineered the driver and, and wrote the new one unlock the chip as they did. So what can you do with um, an SDR dongle? What can you, what can you do with SDR? Um, you can gather all kinds of data um, even though you can't see it there's information flying around you right this second uh, whether that's an encrypted voice or whether that's data um, with an SDR dongle we can start to visualize that kind of stuff on the PC look at it, analyze it and see what's happening. So the kind of things that you can do is listen to an encrypted voice chat like walkie talkies, ham radio, aircraft and uh, a few other different types of uh, voice signals like taxi firms sometimes there's food places using uh, radio transmitters to transmit the, um, the voice for ordering um, ADSB for tracking aeroplanes, you can track aeroplanes using uh, a protocol called ADSB which basically transmits their location every few seconds uh, you can then decode it on the PC and use um, your PC to track aeroplanes which is very cool. Um, ACARS uh, which is short aircraft messages basically um, service messages and things that the engineers and people need to know when the aeroplanes come into land. Uh, digital voice transmissions these are all um, transmitted publicly as well it's um, it, you know for location and uh, to figure out where, the, where these things are at any given time. You can also decode digital voice transmissions. There are protocols for sending voice digitally across the airwaves. Tracking boat positions, AIS, you can look at POXAG um, flex and uh, basically POXAG and flex are messaging protocols for pages so you can read pages going across the air. You can listen to cordless phones. You can monitor weather balloon data. You can decode ham internet packets you can watch digital TV <laughs> not that you would really want to watch TV because there's 
bugger all interesting on there. Um, GSM signals, so you can sniff GSM signals. We can also, um, the RTL SDR is compatible with Android, so if you get a lead to connect the RTL SDR to your Android, you can do that. Um, I'm not sure if the device has to be routed or not. You can decode GPS signals, you can use it as a spectrum analyzer, you can use it to look at data from weather satellites, you can listen to the IS, the International Space Station stream, uh, you can do uh, radio astronomy and start looking at meteor scatter, um, you can obviously listen to FM radio stations and RDS um, demodulation, you can listen to digital aud um, audio broadcasts and uh, for the hackers out there you might like this, you can also use your uh, RTL dongle as a high entropy random number generator for generating uh, cryptographically secure random numbers as you know the random number generators sometimes provided in various operating systems haven't been up to scratch. Okay, so if you want to follow along for the next few episodes, um, I suggest you guys get yourselves in a Realtek dongle, the RTL2832. I also suggest you get yourself an MCP male to BNC female adapter for your dongle. And I also suggest you go and get yourself um, an antenna. Um, it doesn't have to be an airband one. It could be uh, any, <laughs> you know, it could be aimed at any part of the spectrum, the spe part of the spectrum that you're interested in. The reason I suggested an airband antenna is because they're cheap and, yeah, they're dirt cheap, and you haven't necessarily got to listen to airband on there. But the the antenna that the Realtek dongle comes with is absolutely shockingly pants, because it's been specifically engineered for. Um, picking up signals for digital TV. So yeah, I do suggest you go and buy yourself a, a new antenna because you'll have way more fun and there'll be loads more stuff you'll be able to pick up. So, that's been Hackology's intro to SDR. I really hope you've enjoyed tonight's video. We should be back really soon. I'm going to start taking you through the software for your SDR, how to get it set up, how to start listening to things, and hopefully how to start demodulating stuff and doing some, some cool stuff. Um, as always, you've been watching Hackology, have fun hacking and we shall be back really soon. Peace.